Welcome to the MH2801 video segment on the complex Fourier series. Now, in the earlier video segment, we have established the orthogonal orthogonality relation between E I M E I two pi M T over T uh, and E I two pi N T over T. Of course, when we when we multiply the two fun, uh, ex complex exponentials together, we need to take the complex conjugate of e i two pi m t over t, and then uh, integrate from zero to t and divide by one over t. This will give us delta m n, which tells us that this number, this integral, is equals to one if m is equals to n and zero otherwise. Now, for a complex Fourier series, we have also for for a periodic function, we have also seen how the real, uh, com real Fourier series can be written in the form of a complex Fourier series with uh, coefficients a n and with uh, multiplied to the periodic functions e i 2 pi n t over t, where instead of n running from 1 to infinity, n now can start running from minus infinity to infinity. Now, as with the real Fourier series, such an expansion is pretty much useless unless we can find some way to determine the coefficients a n. Now here, uh, let us sh let me show you how these coefficients can be determined by making use of the orthogonality relation of the complex uh, exponentials. Now let's say we want to find the coefficient a m. Now what we need to do is to first multiply ft by e minus i 2 pi mt over t and integrate it from 0 to t respect to little t and then divide by 1 over t. Now this, will tell, this tells us that uh, we will then have 1 over t, the integral from 0 to t of a and e i 2 pi n t over capital T times e minus i 2 pi m t over capital T dt and this will have to be sum from n equals to minus infinity to infinity. Now the, the sum and the integral of course are inter interchangeable so let us uh, change the uh, order of the summation and integration and uh, since a n is summed over but not integrated over, let's bring it out. So a n, and then we have now an integral from zero to t of e i two pi n t over t times e minus i two pi m t over t dt. And if we make use of the orthogonality relation, which is this part here. is this part here. This can then be written as equals to the sum going from minus infinity to infinity of a n delta m n. Now since this, this particular chronicle delta is only 1 when n is equals to m, so this is equals to 1 only if m is equals to n. So when we sum over n, when we let n vary but m fix, then we will, in fact, the only coefficient that will be picked up from this sum will be equals to a m. So this allows us to, so let me write this again, so a m equals to 1 over t, an integral from 0 to t of f of t times e minus i 2 pi m t over t dt. Now this formula here would allow us to evaluate all the complex Fourier coefficients of the periodic function f of t. It is as simple as this. So instead of evaluating uh, two different series of coefficients plus uh, plus a, a, a constant a, a constant coefficient a0, we now only need to evaluate, uh, do an integration to evaluate the coefficients once. 
and of course uh, in the in the lecture notes and also in the textbook uh, I stick to the convention that uh, instead of AN I call this CN so let me change that here CN this is CN and this is CN so we will reserve A we will reserve A and B for the uh, as to, to denote the coefficients of the real Fourier series and C to denote the uh, coefficients of the complex Fourier series.